<clears throat> okay, so I wanted to make a video about, uh, so not everybody is going to be getting an FPV part or package uh, to their kit. FPV is uh, first person view. Um, and so, and iNav and Betaflight, both of those are kind of geared towards first person view type setups, or at least having a camera and a video transmitter. Um, so I needed to make a video for those of you that do not have a camera and video transmitter, specifically pertaining to GPS lock. Um, you get your drone outside, uh, you're wondering why your, your drone is not arming. Uh, INAV requires a minimum of six satellites to be locked in um, before it will arm. Now, if you have a camera and a video transmitter, then you would use your goggles or maybe a monitor um, to tune in to your drone and your on-screen display would look like this. Um, and it gives you all sorts of good information, system messages, uh, satellites, uh, altitude, speed, home distance, all that stuff. So obviously this is more, more tailored towards uh, FPV uh, or drones equipped with a camera and video transmitter. But um, you can get some of this information without uh, the need of the transmitter, the video transmitter. Um, and one of those things is your uh, GPS lock. So uh, you should have gotten some LEDs with your uh, components and your electronics. Um, and one of the nice things that iNav makes it possible for you to do is uh, give indicators to your LEDs. So if I click that, actually, let me highlight some. We'll only do uh, the first five. We'll say that. And right now they're set to a color function of white. Um, but I want it to be an indicator. So I'm going to click on that. Um, or is it? GPS indicator. So the function is GPS. It's an indicator. So it's going to show indicate the status of these of the GPS. Uh, the way that it'll work is these five LEDs will be red uh, when there's no satellites. They'll slowly transition into an orange color for no lock. And then they'll turn green when they're locked. So uh, we've done that. It picks our colors for us. We would just hit save and it says our EEPROM is saved and we can disconnect. And then that way when uh, you plug in out on the field, um, you can, uh, you'll know when you have GPS lock by the color of your LEDs. Uh, another way to do it, um, we are going to connect and go to the CLI. Now, you can have uh, a beeper beep. Uh, the motors actually beep. Uh, don't ask me how it works. You can Google it and find out. Um, some form of resonance or something, not sure. But uh, the motors can beep. And so what you can do is you can type in beeper list. And it will tell you all the things you can assign a beep or a beeping sound to. And so uh, what I did was uh, you should become familiar with the GitHub on iNav. Um, and one of this shows you all the things that you can assign beepers to. And so one thing that I did was I did this one right here, beeper arming GPS fix. Um, and so what that will do is it will, it will beep. So you just copy 
I think I've already enabled it, so if I do it again, it might disable it. Let's see. Enter. Ah, so it shows that it has been enabled, our Ming GPS fix. Then, the other one I looked at that I thought might be, in a, would, might be nice was, where is it, where is it? GP, arming and GPS fix. Here it is, ringing a tone when GPS is locked and ready. I thought that one would be useful. So I'm going to go here. Control copy. Go here. Control V. Enter. And now it says that an, a ready beep has been enabled for uh, the GPS. And then lastly, you would save and hit enter. And that would save what you've just done. Um, we will disconnect and unplug the USB and that should save your changes. And by doing that, that gives you an indicator on how many, uh, or at least when, when you have GPS fix, which will make it possible for you to know when you should be able to arm your quad. Um, hope that was helpful.